what are the insights? What, something has to be around insights. So we spent a lot of time uh, going into kids' homes, talking to moms and dads, and interviewing and observing, being kind of the, uh, what Tom Kelly calls the modern day anthropologist, sort of seeing what's happening, seeing behaviors. If you can take a behavior and put that into something, then it's going to resonate, um, which is really cool. Can I show you a toy to yeah, show, show exactly. some behavior? So sure. um, this is a, <clears throat> I brought some toys, guys. This is a, <clears throat> this is a, everyone might know or might not know the property Dusty, which is a Pixar property. Dusty is a plane, it's kind of like the car's property, but he's afraid of heights. So he's basically an RC car uh, for three-year-olds. So he doesn't really fly. So he goes on the ground. And a, a three-year-old, if you give them a remote control, they don't know what they're doing. They're just, right? So, but how does a three-year-old pretend they're flying? Can you guys act it out? Can everyone act it out together? Yeah. So, <laughs> so we took that behavior, and then we give them these little wings, and then... Then when he tilts this way, he goes that way, and then he tilts this way, and it goes that way. I got a big wingspan. A little three-year-old behind it is pretty cute. So. <laughs> That's so fun. So how did you come up with that idea? Or how did your group come up with that? Uh, by watching kids, and then someone was pretending they're flying and, and remembering they did it themselves and said, how do we incorporate that into a toy? Um, <clears throat> and then w the way we prototyped that was, we had that and someone behind the curtain driving yeah, it. When yeah. the kid did this, we turned it that way. So that saved us some money on the prototyping. Well, so. I love that idea. <laughs> and then that... once we sold it, then we had to make it work, right? So. <clears throat> but that's what's really cool. And I'm so fascinated with the way you do that is do these really, really quick and dirty, inexpensive prototypes that test whether a concept will work without actually spending any money or even putting any technology into it. So talk about that process. That's a, a real tenet of IDEO. It's a real tenet of the D school. It's like high fidelity thinking, low fidelity prototyping. Because you want to rough and rapid to get the idea out there so you can learn from it, not test to validate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, get it out there to learn from it and so you can make it better. For those of you who will start running companies someday, what you want is when you're CEO to have that sort of um, ability to squint and see the real thing through a rough and rapid model. Because we see so many cultures that the model prototype has to be beautiful before they show it to the, the CEO or management because they're going, what's this piece of crap? You know? And then your whole culture then understands, ooh, we got to make it look good, and they're wasting all this time. Right. right. And of so. course, I understand in that situation, you're much less likely to get feedback. Yeah, you exactly. now are fully committed to something that might not work. So doing these really quick prototypes is really valuable. It's a culture. It's a culture thing. And you can do that physical or digital. 